How to stop people from sliding out of their wheelchair, part one, the setup. Now when someone slides forward in their seating, that's what's called a posterior pelvic tilt. And the most common reason why someone go into a posterior pelvic tilt is the transfer. This could be either because you're hoist transferring or you're stand transferring, whatever the reason is that the bottom doesn't go all the way back into the chair. It sort of lands halfway through. So we start off at a really bad place when we sit in this position. The number one thing you can do is ask the person to lean forward. Come on, buddy. Well, here's a toy. <laughs> lean forward and see if there's a gap between their backrest and the bottom and try to close that gap as much as possible. Another thing you want to utilize is tilt or rake in the chair. Now rake is the distance between the front seat the floor and the rear. So in this case, you can see it's quite flat, but we kind of want a bit of a slope on there more often than not to stop someone's hips from going that way. That's rake, but you can also use tilt. Now this chair doesn't have tilt, but the chair did have tilt. You want to have, make sure that the client's always in some level of tilt while they're driving the chair. So gravity is working with us by keeping us back into the chair. Another thing you want to check is the depth. Now on this chair, it is perfect. There is a small gap between the knee crease and the cushion. If that was too long, then this sort of client over here would never be able to come back into the chair. So if the seat depth is too long, you're gonna have problems. You also wanna check the armrests. Now the armrests aren't available in all chairs and not everyone has armrests. Now this guy kinda has armrests, I think. I think that's what they're going for. Or maybe they're side guards, but either way. But people use their armrests for stability. So if you've got a weakened core and you need armrests to help keep you upright and they're not there, what are you gonna do? You're gonna slide forward until your arms make contact with here. So one simple thing you can do is just lift the armrest up to the appropriate height. Another thing you wanna look at is the leg rest, both in the height and the angle. Now the height, if the foot plates are too low, then there's nothing really pushing the client back into the chair. So imagine these ones are a bit too low, the client's gonna slide forward until they make contact with the foot plate. Also the angle is really important. Remember our hamstring, our hamstring is attached from our ischial tuberosity right over here, just below our knee. So if that, picture that like an elastic band. If that elastic band is really tight and we try to put someone in this position, if that elastic, if that elastic band is tight, then it's gonna pull these hips forward to release tension from here. So if you imagine if I, oh, you can't change the angle. If, you, if we had the angle come out further, then that would just put more tension on the hamstring. So sometimes it's about the length of the hamstring that determines whether or not someone's going into a posterior pelvic tilt. A way to combat this would be just to bring the legs, tuck the legs in more, or perhaps change the backrest angle. Which brings me to my next point, the backrest angle. Now this is related to the hamstring thing we just spoke about. So another way to alleviate tension off the hamstring is to open up that backrest angle. You don't want to open up too much because then that can also cause a slide, but we might want to play with this angle a little bit to release that tension off the hamstring. And we also want to make sure the backrest angle isn't too far upright because if it's too far upright and they're uncomfortable then a person's going to slide to release that tension in the hamstring okay so in summary if you've got someone in a posterior perfect tilt we're going to want to check the setup and the best way to do that is to first check that they transferred in properly lean them forward make sure they scoot back make sure they're in tilt if they're being hoist transferred whatever you need to do make sure they get the hips all the way back then you want to make sure they're in some sort of tilt or make sure there's break in the chair. Then you want to check the depth again, to make sure they're all the way back before you check the depth. Check that the depth isn't too long. Check that the armrests are at the right height. Then you want to check the leg rest angle to see if there's tension. If you sort of lift someone's leg and there's barely any more movement than what they're in, then you know your leg rest angle is probably too far out. You want to make sure the foot plates are touching the, uh, the feet and that they're not lifting the knee off the seat and they're not, you know, having the feet drop over there. And then you want to play with the back rest angle and see if that has any more comfort. Stay tuned for part two.